So, this is where I send my working up to something really important. <laughs> <laughs> I go from one, four, five, to six minor, back to the four. And I hope Will will yell out a request that he remains quiet. <laughs> so I continue to play and think deep thoughts. <laughs> about eighth graders. How about a new Jewel song? Oh, ooh, ooh, that's good. <laughs> well, funny you should mention um, Jewel and her new song. Uh, a few years ago, I got called uh, to go out to Stevensville, Texas, which is where she was living with her husband. The one of the top rated. Bronc or bull riders, uh, Ty Murray. Um, so it was, it was Dave Berg and Merv Green and um, quite a few of those guys that had massive number ones and all that. And then there was me, <laughs> and, and I was like, well, maybe she needs killing songs. Cool. <laughs> so she assured me she did not. And so then I thought, well, now what do I do? And, um, so anyway, thankfully, I was on the third day because we all took turns writing with Jewel. And we all went, you know, it's kind of this really like, oh, it's a bird, it's a mister, you know. And we all kind of like, yeah, And secret we're, <laughs> secretly we're like, ah, I hope he doesn't outright us. Come on, sabotage him. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, because that's how the music business works sometimes. But those guys wrote great commercial, cool songs with Jewel. And, and I knew they were going for the, you know, like the number the number one spot of the jingly commercial, you know, and I thought, man, I can't compete with that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure out a different angle. So I started doing uh, a lot of reading and researching, and every interview um, that I saw had Jewel talking about her dad because if anyone, do you know, know who Jewel is? Yeah. Okay, all right, good. And I, I was a huge fan of her anyway, and. Um, and the fact that we had the Alaska connection and we both lived in log cabins and, and we both had strange things that, um, uh, that happened in our childhoods that, that um, traumatized us just enough to write really deep poetry, um, which, which is always wonderful. Um, so I walked in the room on the third day with her and, and sat down and she's just the coolest person, but she's kind of reserved and very soft-spoken very ladylike and, oh. and she, hello and I said um, I said so Jewel I said I know these these amazing guys are in here to write your big commercial country hit I said I want to write the song that your fans are requesting years from now and every interview that I read you're saying I am my father's daughter and I said you you've never had an autobiographical song would you be willing to to get raw and real and brave enough to just tell your story. And um, she looked at me and she went, well, let's try. And um, <clears throat> it was so cool because this was a few years ago. And I, you know, the music business, you get your hopes up and then, you know, your dreams are dashed again. And, and so I started thinking, eh, maybe I was wrong about that. And she texted me in January and she goes, Carver, Guess who's singing backgrounds on uh, my father's daughter for for the record? And I was like, who? And she sent me a picture of her and Dolly Parton, and I went, yes! <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, who who better to know what it's like to be raised in a little log cabin than little sister Dolly Parton? So I can hang up my co-writing spurs after that, because I sat in the jiffy loop the other day and listened and cried like a baby. <laughs> I think everybody there thought that my motor was blown. <laughs> she stepped off of the boat to see flowers in his hand. The man she would marry was as hard as the mountains. She raised his babies in a log cabin. 
Soon I'd be another star in this family's constellation in the land of the midnight sun searching for gold I am my father's daughter he has his mother's eyes I am the product of her sacrifice I am the accumulation of the dreams of generations and their stories live in me like holy water I am my father's daughter My father raised me in an old log cabin and he sang to me the songs his mother sang to him In honky-tonks and empty bars Just me and him and that old guitar He passed down a legacy Wrapped up in a melody I'll carry on Searching for gold I am my father's daughter I am the product of his sacrifice I am the accumulation of the dreams of generations Their stories live in me like holy water I am my father's daughter But every time I step on stage it finds me I don't need God to remind me I am my father's daughter I have his eyes and I am the product of his sacrifice I am the accumulation of the dreams of generations and their stories live in me like holy water I am my father's daughter Ooh, my father's daughter I am my father's daughter